Okay, now we're going to be talking about volume. Now volume is the number of cubic units needed to fill a solid figure. A cubic unit is the volume of a cube, one unit on each edge. So we have each one of these represents one cubic unit. Okay, so when we're looking at a problem like this and we're trying to find the volume, when you have your cubic units already, you can kind of just count the amount of cubic units to get your answer. So right away we see one, two, three, four, all right? But it's too deep. So there's another one of these four behind back here. So four plus four is eight. So the answer to this particular one would be eight units cubed or eight cubic units. Now let's look at this one. So it, it's a little bigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to count the faces on the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight faces on the front, but we're three deep. Okay, so now we're going to think about eight times three, and that would equal 24. So this time, the answer is 24 cubic units. But what happens when you're asked to just find it on a solid figure and not these cubic unit blocks? Let's see. Volume is defined as length times width times height, all right? So that is the formula to, we need to use to find volume of a standard prism such as this. So I'm gonna preface this by saying this is a cube. So we're only given one side, but we know that in a cube, all sides are equal. So we're gonna find the length, the width, and the height are all the same. So we're gonna do V equals length times width times height. It's important to write out your formula first. Now we're gonna have V equals, our length is five, our width is five, and our height is five. Okay, what you want to do with this is take it one problem at a time. So we're going to do 5 times 5 first to give us 25. And then we're going to multiply that by 5. Okay, now, so we did, the, we did the 5 times 5, and now we're going to do 25 times 5 to complete it off. And 25 times 5 is 125 centimeters cubed. And that is how we would find the volume of this particular figure. Now let's look at this problem. We're given volume, again, equals length times width times height. So, write it out, the volume equals, let's look for the length here. Okay, the length is three, three centimeters. Okay, the width is six centimeters. And the height over here is two. Again, we wanna break this down one problem at a time. So three times six is 18 times two. 18 times two is 36. So our answer to this one is 36 centimeters cubed. That would be our volume, 36 centimeters cubed.